राष्ट्रपति श्री वेंकैया नायडू जी हमारे बीच पधार चुके हैं आप सभी गणमान्यों से अनुरोध है कि कृपया अपने स्थान पर खड़े होकर करतल ध्वनि से महामहिम उपराष्ट्रपति जी का स्वागत करें आप सभी गणमान्यों से विनम्र निवेदन है कि कृपया राष्ट्रगान के सम्मान में अपनी जगह पर खड़े होकर निष्ठापूर्वक अपनी सहभागिता निभाएं। जन गण मन अधिनायक जय है भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जल धितरंगा तब शुभ नामे जागे तब शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तब जय गाधा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे धन्यवाद महामहिम उपराष्ट्रपति जी गांधीन यंग टेक्नोलॉजिकल इनोवेशन अवार्ड्स के इस कार्यक्रम में हम आपका हृदय से अभिनंदन करते हैं आपकी गरिमामयी उपस्थिति से हम सब गदगद हैं हम स्वागत करते हैं ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड अर्थ साइंसेज माननीय डॉक्टर हर्षवर्धन जी का वी आर एक्सट्रीमली हैप्पी टू हैव विद अस टुडे रिस्पेक्टेड डॉक्टर आर ए माशलकर एफ आर एस चेयरमैन बायरेक्स सितारे जी वाई टी आई प्रोग्राम एंड रिसर्च एडवाइजरी कमेटी सृष्टि वी आर ऑल्सो हैप्पी टू हैव विद एस टूडे डॉक्टर रेणु स्वरूप secretary department of biotechnology dbt and respected professor anil gupta csir bhatnagar fellow founder of hanibi network srishti gyan and nif and visiting faculty ima and iitb main anurodh karna chahunga adarniye professor anil gupta ji se ki ve manch par padhare aur apna swagat sambodhan se hame prerit kare प्रोफेसर अनिल गुप्ता जी ऑनरेबल वाइस प्रेसिडेंट माननीय साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी और स्वास्थ्य के और मंत्री डॉक्टर हर्षवर्धन डॉक्टर रेनू स्वरूप सेक्रेटरी डीपीटी डॉक्टर आर एम अशिलकर चेयरपर्सन ऑफ द स्टीरिंग कमेटी ऑफ सितारे प्रोग्राम एंड आवर रिसर्च एंड एडवाइजरी कमेटी ऑफ Srishti. This is a extraordinary occasion for young people from all over the country who have made it to the Gandhian Young Technological Innovation Awards. Sir, we received thousands of entries, which were very critically scrutinized by the reviewers from the top institutes within the country and some outside the country. Through a very rigorous screen, we identified the innovators whom you just met. Each one of them is trying to address. a very fundamental need of our society there are three categories in which we are giving the awards some who are pushing the technological edge as you could see some of them have published papers in nature the top journal of the world and are able to establish their leadership in basic sciences which may in due course generate solutions for the society second category is sir mlm more from less for many which is frugal innovation so in manufacturing processes you saw sir how for example the future a uh, fuel will not have sulfur dioxide sulfur content so that the pollution can be reduced or how uh, a cancer a person who is smoking can be told much earlier whether the person has chances of getting cancer oral cancer and sir in this case it was a girl though this award is only for the college students we made an exception because the girl was so far, so talented that we thought we must now provide her space and as dbt secretary would tell you sir that there is a plan now to bring more such children in the innovation value chain sir third category is social impact 
idea is that certain technologies which can meet the unmet need of our society, whether this is for physically challenged people or for people who are deaf and dumb. So as you know, not every deaf need to be dumb. And this is a very important part, which at early stage, if we can identify the deafness, then surely those children with treatment can speak and will not, we will not have a habit, continue the habit of calling deaf and dumb. It is deaf, but not dumb. So there are many important discoveries and inventions that the students have made, as you rightly mentioned during the visit to the exhibition, that we need to now develop an educational path. And as Honorable Minister looks after both health and science and technology, and many of the technologies are of the health sector, um, we have a fortuitous circumstance, historical opportunity now for us that a very rapid turnaround can take place for so many of the students who, should, who will need help of the health sector, hospitals to generate large scale data without which, sir, the public procurement may not be able to give traction. So we need to really use the historical occasion that Dr. Harshwardhan provides us in his new role, a uh, very powerful role of connecting science and technology and the health sector of the country and provide solutions to us. Sir, we also are very grateful that the pathway that you have suggested that even for the children, we should find ways in which they develop solutions. You were, sir, has told us about a boy who has made an app for uh, giving advance notice to the parents about vaccination. Now, this is a very major problem. Parents sometimes forget. And if a 10th class student can do such a thing, then it is something that we would all work together to give promotion to. So this is a wonderful sign, sir. The country is becoming very aspirational. And in such a context, if young children become impatient and we develop an ecosystem for imp impatient ecosystem for innovation, inclusive innovation, the country will make very rapid progress. A large number of reviewers have helped us in this process from all over the country, from all over the institutions. Many of them are sitting here. Uh, they, they had the best of the institutes in our country, whether CCMB, Intech, or other institutions. And without their help, we would not be able to spot the talent that our boys and girls have. We are ensuring very soon to bring you together so that you are ready for next stage in your career. And Dr. Dinesh Sarup has mentioned that there will be a way in which all of you can be push forward faster to bid for next level of support and recognition so that you can, your talent can blossom. Thank you very much, sir. Dhanyawad, Professor Anil Kumar Gupta ji. Ab mein anurodh karna chahunga respected secretary deep department of biotechnology, Adhaniya Dr. Renu Swarup ji se kripaya padhare aur hume sambodhit kare. Honorable Vice President Shri Venkaiya Naidu ji, Honorable Minister for Science and Technology, Earth Sciences, Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Harshwardhan ji, respected Dr. Marshalkar, Professor Anil Gupta, esteemed guests, the mentors, the guides of the students, young students and innovators, the, the guides who have come from other colleges and students who have been facilitating this, I think for each one of us, it is indeed a moment of great pleasure and pride to be here today. Today we have all collected on this very important occasion to recognize and motivate our young innovators. The fact that we have the presence of the Honorable Vice President and the presence of our Honorable Minister clearly signifies the importance we attach to this very activity. We talk about a vibrant ecosystem and we know that in the last five years, there has been a major emphasis on creating the startup ecosystem and our Honorable Prime Minister launched the Startup India program. We were all looking at trying to see how we can create it and make it as vibrant. The foundation of a Startup India program is the young innovations which come at this level in which we are recognizing them here. The Department of Biotechnology has been playing a very important role in taking this forward. The public sector, which was set up primarily for this reason, to foster and nurture a startup ecosystem, BIRAC, has been instrumental in bringing this whole uh, ecosystem to where we stand today for the biotech sector. BIRAC has partnered with Shrishti for this very important activity. And the student innovations which we see today being recognized form part of our very important stream of the student innovation research, very aptly given an acronym of SITARE, 
and Sitare is the student innovation uh, for translation and advancement of research explorations. So when we look at these young Sitare, we want to see how they can actually bloom and then make our whole country shine. This activity that has been supported, it is truly remarkable to see that these are young students who have been picked up from their colleges through a very, very, and schools. We saw a school girl making such a wonderful presentation in the exhibition. This is through a very, very highly competitive process. And once they are, they come into this ecosystem, they then are given complete mentoring to be able to take their ideas forward. It's a 15 lakhs grant which is given to them. And sir, you will be surprised and you have already seen the amount that can be done with an amount is 15 lakh. It's not really the money which has been important, but it's the mentorship and the guidance which has helped these students to come where they are. We have over these last four years awarded more than 50 such awards and there will be a compilation of these which will be released and these along with this we also recognize the younger ones in which we give the aspiration awards and those appreciation awards also we have given more than 150. What we have also done is to bring this whole mentorship together we have actually set up ignition schools and Professor Anil Gupta and his team run these ignition schools in which these students are brought, they are given to three weeks of training, the best mentors from the countries, from the different laboratories come together and from this then they get their ideas fine-tuned to be able to take it to this level. It's also very heartening to note that out of the four, one of them was only for the girl students and with this we are trying to make a special impact to see how we can encourage our girl students to come forward so that we have more women entrepreneurs as we grow. Already in the biotech sector, we are very pleased that the number is touching about over 30%, but I think 50% is what we need to aim for to bring in the diversity. We would also like to say, and sir, as I did inform you, that these are not standalone programs. They are well connected across the entire product development chain. After they complete this grant, they then move on to the next investment based on their idea maturity to get a grant which is for what we call the ignition grant of 50 lakhs, which helps them to fine tune their idea to a prototype or a POC. And thereon, as they succeed, we have investment opportunities right up till they can move to getting their product ready for scale up. 